scheduled. It means when it's just time to do one. Uh, just a routine check. <clears throat> Would what? That would go under changes because you're making changes. And you know, we could almost put it as a separate one, but questionable vent performance would kind of go along if your patient's in distress in any way and you're thinking something's wrong. You're gonna be checking your ventilator to make sure things are right. So I'll put that as a separate one just so we make sure patient distress. Okay, questions about that? All right, so what about like um, our first vent check of the day? So we're coming on shift and we're gonna go see our patient for the first time that day. Do you do anything different this time than maybe you don't do the other times? Do you, I guess my point is you do a more thorough one the very first check of the day than any other one yes you should be did you have a question Bobby? oh you Fabian what I didn't hear your question as do you do anything different in the very first vent check of the day than other vent checks throughout the day? Yeah. So what are some of the things that are different about the very first morning one? Changing filters or checking change. Check filters. Lines. Let's just say we're going to check filters. Suction lines. Suction. Humidification. We're going to check all that. Is it gonna is it gonna last us today? Does it need to be changed today? Kind of what's what's going on with it? Usually you'll be able to tell if our humidifier is gonna run dry, so we kind of have an idea of what things we might have to do with this patient throughout the day. If it was just changed before you came on shift, you're probably good. Huh? Oh, what else? What else? Check the circuit. Okay. What about it? Because we're not really routinely changing it. Oh, condensation. Gross. Condensation grossness. Yes. You want me to write grossness? Yes. <laughs> grossness. <laughs> we all know what it means in circuit. Make sure it's not on the right settings. Confirm settings for the, I would want to make sure that everything's good. Not that we don't check settings every time, but you're going to see the patient for the first time that day. You've gotten report, does the report match what the patient's on? What if you go in and the patient's on something different? Confirm the order. Check the orders. Are you going to automatically go and change it back to what you were told it was uh, it was supposed to be on? No, because the doctor very well could have changed it. It's very common. <laughs> Doctors come in and make a bunch of changes. What? Check with your nurse too. They might know before you go bothering the doctor. Check the orders. Check with the nurse. See if anyone's been in. Don't just go arbitrarily and make changes when you don't know what's going on. Now, if it's a safety thing and you see your patients in distress, that's one thing. Did somebody have a hand raised? No. Okay, what else? Well, I'm gonna keep that in settings because that's gonna all go together. So I'll just put confirm settings and alarms. Yes, yes it does, AMBU bag. What else do we need with our AMBU bag? Mask and? Feed valve. 
Oh, make sure your people are all set correctly. And that it's set correctly. Because we have a horror story. You have a horror story? What happened? Um, one of the therapists had a really hard time. She couldn't get this guy's volumes up, so she fixed his, she ended up trading out his trach, and it, she still wasn't getting volumes. And so she called one of the therapists to come help her. And another therapist came in, grabbed the bag, and then just started pumping on him, and like, really fast. The peak valve was up to 15, and his was only five or eight on the vent, and it gave him a pneumo. <sighs> So yeah, you need to make sure everything's set check right. The valve before she started yeah, make sure everything's set right. Okay, anything else? Couple yes. Charges. Uh, charges. Huh? Charges. charges. What do you mean by charges? They always charge on the first time check, like the sequence. Oh, yeah. Huh? You don't do anything for free. Oh, <laughs> charges. I'm like, charges? What are you talking about? I don't care about that. <laughs> I don't care about that. No. <laughs> um, let's see. What about two placement? Yeah, but we do do it every time, but we probably do more in the very first one to make sure everything where is where we want it to be. Yeah. Oh, well, you have a very good point. What if your patient has a trach? Oh, yeah. Then you switch out the trach. No, trach patient, same size and one size smaller. That matches what they have. And I would probably do just an overall supply check too. Do I have everything in here that I'm going to need for the day? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. I get extra trays. Yep. So overall supply check. Couple later. Couple later. No. So true. <laughs> Oh, saline's a good point. You know, like, um, if your patient is on end tidal CO2, there's usually some put supplies you need for that. Yeah, I would put that under my suction. So it's my Ballard, Yonker, or anything related to that. It's kind of just like a big morning baseline assessment, have everything that you need and be ready for the day because you don't know. If they're a drink. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> make sure they're not going to pull the tube out. And I want to make a note about this too because I know we haven't really talked about it yet and we won't until later, but just to put the, the information on here for now is assess readiness for weaning trials. So I'm going to put it on here and we'll talk, just know that we're going to talk about the specifics of it later, but it is part of the very first one of the day. So assess, readiness for weaning, and SBTs, and then there's one more thing that's very important, because mm -mm, that's going to be part. Uh-uh. How about just an overall patient check and the chart check? <laughs> did you I didn't hear you. Chris, you thank you very much. What did my patient get an x-ray? Did they get an ABG? Did they do any labs? Where are they at today? Are they different from yesterday? Are they worse? Are they better? That's definitely should be done here. So just to save space so I'm not writing too far at the bottom, I'm going to put just an overall patient and chart check.
because I want to hear him first. X-ray labs, ABGs, etc. You know what we're talking about. Assess reading what? <laughs> oh, my critiques, I love them. <laughs> Mr. Horde, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I just have to <laughs> I'll let any one of you stand up here for four hours and see what you come up with. <laughs> My, my brain goes faster than I write sometimes. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. Okay, all that makes sense? Okay, and then as needed throughout the day, we can assess uh, parts of that or do things that we knew were gonna need to be done later on. Are you gonna get a picture? Yeah, I'll send it. All right. Oh yeah.